let's practice and see where certain items would count in gross domestic product in our expenditure approach. C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So if Mario goes to the pizzeria and buys a mushroom pizza. So if we remember, consumption is all purchases by households. Okay, so if that one we would then say would count under consumption. Okay, so Luigi buys a wrench produced in China for his personal use. Okay, so this one, Luigi's buying it for his personal use. So that's a purchase for a household, so that's going to be consumption. But it's also purchased from another country, so that's also going to be an import. Okay, so a wrench would count as a durable good, because we expect it to last for three years or more. Um, and then again as an import so then net exports remember net exports is exports minus imports so imports is getting bigger so net exports is going to get smaller okay so princess peach buys a new house okay so if you recall investment is uh or holds all of the new home construction okay so a new home construction goes under investment Okay, so Bowser sends you $100 in gold coins. Okay, so remember GDP, we're measuring production. So if Bowser sends you $100 in gold coins, is there any production involved? No. Okay, so Bowser sending you that $100 in gold coins, there's no production involved. So that would be sort of like a transfer payment. And remember, we don't count transfer payments. Okay, so... Yoshi buys a used saddle from a neighbor dinosaur. Okay, so remember we're measuring production. So if it's a used good, it was not produced in that year, it was produced some other year. So we don't count used goods in our um, GDP. So those are some examples of um, how we classify things in the expenditure approach.